Hello everyone, um, as the title suggests, I'm going to do a V6 to V8 swap and I'm really excited about it. Now, a lot of you will probably ask yourself, um, why am I doing this? Because to anybody who lives in the United States, it's a normal thing to just sell the 3.7 V6 and you know use it as a down payment and buy a V8 and be done with it. Um, first of all, I really love my car and I don't really want to get rid of it. Uh, but that's not the main reason. The main reason is I live in Croatia in Europe and import taxes and fees for importing a 5.0 are just beyond ridiculous. Uh, it's just not worth it. And the easiest and cheapest, not the easiest, but the cheapest way to do it is to swap. So I bought uh, like a, like two months ago, I bought a, uh, 2012 V8 uh, Mustang with a Roush supercharger stage 3 um, the car is loaded with all kinds of goodies it has a, a one piece aluminum drive shaft a full exhaust um, actually not full exhaust but it has exhaust done to it it has full steel suspension um, it's a manual mine's an automatic I'm really looking forward to finally having a manual again because um, that's what I've been driving my whole life and I enjoy driving manuals a lot more than I do driving automatics so it has an MT82 obviously but it has a um, Exidy I think that's how I pronounce it uh, Exidy Mach 600 clutch and a uh, Steeda short throw, short throw shifter um, what else uh, the car has has some uh, fancy aftermarket wheels and some um, aftermarket taillights. Uh, I don't really care about those too much. Um, but yeah, uh, it has... I'm probably forgetting something, but the car is, you know, loaded and it's... I got it for a hell of a price. I didn't plan on buying it now. Uh, I did plan on doing the swap, but I was like, you know, I'm going to do it, you know sometime in the future but the deal was just too good to pass so I just had to get it and I paid six thousand five hundred dollars for the car <laughs> now the problem is the car is located in Mississippi um, I had to organize transport from Mississippi to New Jersey uh, to a shipping company where it's gonna get transported to me shipped overseas the problem with that was the car is stuck in gear um, so yeah the car is wrecked by the way um, it's stuck in gear, so no company wanted to pick up the car because you can't really move it uh, on its own. You can't even push it. So, sorry, I had a lot of trouble finding um, someone who would be willing to uh, transport the car to New Jersey. Uh, it took me like three weeks or so. Uh, when, when I was finally there, um, we realized we have another problem. Uh, the car doesn't have a title and it can't be shipped overseas uh, it's going to be shipped uh, it was going to be shipped from New Jersey to uh, Bremerhaven in Germany and in order to do that we had to cut the car in half uh, making it a parts only um, car so it didn't need a title anymore now the shipping company that was cutting the car uh, I was happy that they were willing to do it, but they weren't really willing to do anything else but cut the car. So I really had to, you know, uh, almost beg them to uh, remove the exhaust and drive shaft and not cut through it and to remove the rear axle uh, because of the uh, differential and the gearing. Uh, mine's, mine has stock 273s and the GT has 355s. If I'm, not, if I'm not mistaken uh, so yeah they took off some parts I don't really know what they ended up taking off uh, I will see in two weeks the car is currently uh, on sea it's somewhere in between Europe and the United States once it arrives in Germany I have to organize transport from Germany to Croatia and that should happen uh, in the next two weeks so hopefully, um, by the time, um, if you 
check back to see for another video there will be a video of the actual car and not just me rant, you know, ranting so yeah that's about it i'm really looking forward to this um, i always wanted to have a v8 couldn't afford it at the time that i was buying the car um got the steel just had to jump on it and yeah hopefully um hopefully the swap will go well uh, i am planning on installing whilst you know the engine and everything is out uh, i will do um, long tip headers i will do um, oil pump gears and crank sprocket. Uh, what else? Uh, I will probably pull out the Steeda uh, short throw shifter and I'll put in a uh, MGW short throw shifter. Um, I think that's about it, what I planned on doing. But if you have any suggestions on what I should do whilst you know everything's apart and uh, easy accessible, just let me know, comment in the, in the uh, comment section below and I will make sure to give it a thought and I want to do as much as I can right now before we put everything back together. Uh, I did already buy two service manuals for both cars so I have access to wiring diagrams and whatever I might need in the process of building this. Um, and yeah, that's it. Um, in two weeks there should be another video, hopefully, or three um with the car so i don't know stay tuned it's gonna be exciting Yeah, 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 go ahead. 